I sold out of the animal farm and I want to explain why. I've got about three reasons why I sold out of the animal. When I say I sold out, let me rephrase that. I did not sell the animal farm. I sold my pig token. I sold my pig tokens because I think they're simply priced too high right now. Now there is there is about two scenarios where the price could there's two things that could happen that could cause the price to really pump hard, but it hasn't done it. And I think long term fundamentally that I think we're seeing um, with all the numbers on the site, the BUSD in the vault, we're seeing what's happening with the TVL, the BSD rewarded. I think we can look at that and realize what we're getting in the pig pen right here in the governance token and see that the re rewards just aren't there. So we were told in all the hype and all the excitement and all the commotion, we were told on the AMAs uh, by the dev that you're going to earn your rewards. They're going to be so high when you're in the pig pen. Don't compare it to what we earned when we were in the, the previous version of this on the manor farm. The reality is the manor farm was actually paying out a little bit better, I think. So we were, they were like, you know, you, you can't compare the two. This is totally different. Um, the, because of, you know, all these number, you know, complex reasons and the rehypothecation, this and that, and you just gotta, you know, the, the earnings are going to be great. And those people who come in early on, you know, you're probably going to get your funds from, from the previous farm, the launch farm, the manor farm, when it launched the money they took from there and the money you had invested, you're probably going to ROI within two or three days. That was said in one of the AMAs. And then it, later on, they backed off and said within several days, within a couple of weeks, at one point they were like, you're going to ROI within the month. Okay, take all that aside. First of all, that's not going to happen unless maybe you sell some tokens on a pump. But at this point, the token value is pulling back significantly. But I and I all that was, you know, I, I felt like some of that was overzealous hype. I mean, I could do the basic math. I mean, my newsletter subscribers, I told them in one of my videos. I know he said this in the AMA. I got it recorded on my channel. You can go listen to it. And I said there, I I mean, you can look at the tokens. You can look at TVL coming into farms and you can realize that's probably not going to happen. It, it, you don't have to be a genius kind of figure out that basic math, but it was okay. The project still had merit. I like the idea of being able to stake in the pig pen. I like the idea of being able to earn rewards from the farms. Um, I, I liked all that. So that was, that was cool. And it's why I may get back in the pig pen later. I'm going to be watching it and, and watch what the earnings are. Several things. J let me just talk about some of the delayed promises. I'm not going to say broken promises. We'll say delayed promises. We were told that there was tens of millions of dollars that were going to come into the BUSD vault. This thing has been launched several days now, and we haven't seen it yet. After the weekend, the weekend came and went, and I thought it was coming in over the weekend. And there was going to be some buybacks happening because he's got tens of millions of dollars prepared just to do that. This cash injection and the buyback token. It hasn't happened yet. Yesterday, there was an announcement that they did do a small buyback. I think it's around a million dollars worth. Um, and you could see the prices go up a little bit. That was very obvious. That was awesome. Great. And I do believe one of the scenarios we could see this pump is, you know, they're still sitting on tens of millions of dollars. And should they use that, there's no guarantee they will. There's no, there's no, there's no reason they have to outside of the fact they said they would. I mean, there's no, nothing that's going to happen if they don't probably, but the developer, uh, uh, developers or, or whoever supposedly are going to be putting a lot of funds in here. And if they do that, if they do some math, a little down to 253, geez, I got out 265. If they do that, the token could pump. But the question is how hard is it going to pump? All that aside, Oh, oh, there's one more thing. The developer announced this morning, no, sorry, yesterday morning, he announced that there's a new DAP coming out that's going to be increasing some of the liquidity and the buy pressure on the pig token. Now, I don't know what that is. I'll be looking out for it uh, because typically when this developer comes out with stuff, it does pretty well. I'll be watching to see what happens, but I'm less concerned about a short-term pump. I'm more concerned about you know earning income, earning some sort of passive income. What are we going to get? Right now in the pig pen, when I got out of here, I got out of just over $5,000, $5,200. That was the low. As of yesterday, it was closer to $7,000. But this morning when I sold out, I had like $18 in BUSD sitting here. Well, I mean, that's that's nothing. It was over 24 hours worth, by the way. And that's on the price pulling back. What that means is the price of the token has little to do with their earnings in the in the vault. So if this token price pulls back, at some point, the daily earnings are going to be very attractive. I, I do believe that. We may see 1% to 2%, a half a percent. Even a consistent 0.3% would be okay for a long-term project. But I think that, you know, outside of the big injection, even if they put in a, that big injection, this pays out 3% a day. This pays out instant is my understanding. 
even if they put in that big object, uh, 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 infusion of cash in here, and let's just say it's, you know, I don't know, there's $30 million in here. That's great. It's a 10x. But then it's going to be go it's going to be dropping quickly. So all of a sudden, maybe we get three or four percent. Maybe we get three or four percent a day. But that's going to be slowly going down. You know, you're going to ROI. I mean, I had five thousand. I pulled out. If if I get a hundred percent in BUSD, that means I've doubled. Great. I made up for the loss of the value of the pig token already. For me, I just think it's overvalued right now, and I I think we need to see where a floor's at, and we need to see what the earnings are in the BUSD. So for me. I'm out. Now, that doesn't mean I'm totally out. I still, those of you who saw my video on how to become a crypto millionaire, part one. So that whole series that I'm creating, it's all about using different parts of DeFi. So in that one, I talked about the cake token. Or is it at right here? The cake token. So I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. This is still some very good APRs right now, even with the fee. So I'm definitely not going anywhere. Uh, out of the side of the farm. I'm just sold my pig token and I'm going to continue to watch. Now I could, if I wanted to, I could come in and take those rewards. I pulled that 5,000 out. I could bring that in here, that $5,000 and buy cake if I wanted to. It's an idea, something I've thought about. And I could take those rewards and stake them for dog tokens and, and then rebuild my pig tokens that way. That way my pig tokens essentially are free. And that would probably be a really smart way to do it if I, I wanted to do that. I just think there's a better, better place in crypto right now. Um, I'm not going to talk about this video, but I'm going to do another video talking about what I'm doing with that those funds. But I, I think there's a better place to deploy that in crypto that that I think has, um, at, at least for me, it's a, another form of diversification. I mean, 300 something percent is high. It's going to go down. I, I think there's another place I can I can put funds right now. By the way, I'm still stacking the cake token. Those of you who saw that video, this is a long term hold. So each month I'm going to be adding minimum few hundred dollars or more here. In fact, in that video, I had 50. So I got 116 now. Basically, I've taken all my earnings um, and I had some uh, a referral commission from the Drip Garden, which I'm still in Drip Garden. And I just put those in and bought cake. By the way, my plan for Drip and Drip Garden has not changed. I compound five days a week, withdraw two. Why? Because I believe the project has legs. I believe it's going to go on for a while. Now, the token price may pull back at some point. That's That's the thing that I'm watching for. And, and I'm okay. I mean, if this token price, even if it comes all the way back to like $60, I mean, I'm still going to be earning well every single week because I've compounded for so long. So I'm going to continue to compound five days a week, continue to withdraw too. And if this goes up to some people are claiming it may hit $500 or $1,000, if that happens, that's awesome. And if it doesn't happen, I'm okay as well. See, the thing about crypto is when you earn passive income, Every single passive income payment decreases your risk. It's like a, a, you can make a withdrawal and decrease your risk of what you put in. And then eventually you get to a place where you can do like a 50-50. You leave half in, you, you reinvest half. You leave half in, you reinvest half. And then you're growing your, your bag. So you're actually growing your income. So it's not just having a passive income. It's having a growing passive income or a compounding passive income. That's kind of my strategy. But in Drip, I'm not withdrawing 50-50. I'm literally you know, whatever two out of five, whatever that percentage is, one of you know, let me know in the comments what that ratio is. But I'm withdrawing two days and I'm compounding the rest for the most part. All right. I'm, I'll put a, I'll put links down in the description for the animal farm drip and whatever. And there you are affiliate links. If you use the affiliate links, you will be supporting the channel and I greatly appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching that nothing in this video should be considered financial advice. I just felt like the pig token was priced too high. I do think it's possible this thing may double based on what the developer ends up doing. That that could be possible, but I'm okay. I hit my hard stop. Just $5,000 is my hard stop. I got out. I'm good. I've done well. Hey, thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Decentralized cryptocurrency equals freedom. This is Crypto Wealth. I'm out.